What's going on everyone? Trevor Hansen here with The Way Channel. Um, we are sitting here in the captain's chair and we're gonna talk about how to pull up to the dock properly. Um, you know, you always are pulling up to the dock, uh, whether it's to pick up friends, to go uh, to a restaurant, to a marina, um, or if you're just uh, getting the boat back and forth onto the trailer, um, it's important to know how to pull up to a dock and approach it. Um, so the situation that we've got here is um, I've got a friend's dock here and we are pulling up along the side of his dock. Um, so we're gonna kind of show you how that approach works um, and show you how to make a nice easy turn to where you as one person in the boat can, uh, can simply get close to the dock and grab it and not be coming in too hot. So one of the most important things when you're about to pull up to a dock is understanding which side of the boat you're going to pull up to. So my boat likes to back up predominantly to the right. Um, so I like to approach on the driver's side so that I can come and catch the dock easily um, by myself. So what I will do is come in nice and slow um, and when I get close to the dock, staying about 20 or 30 feet away from the dock, as I get close, I'm going to make a left-hand turn here into the dock and then as I start to make this turn, once I get close enough, then I'm gonna put it in reverse and start to swing that back end around. And you notice I had to turn the steering wheel to make that happen. So then now that I've got the drift going that I want, I'm going to bump it back and forward and start steering the way so that I can kind of create that drift of the back of the boat into the dock. It's really important to make sure that you realize that while you're making any of these little adjustments, you have to turn the steering wheel um, in the corresponding direction. So if you want the bow to go to the left while you're going forward, you obviously have to turn the steering wheel that way. And the same is true uh, when you're going in reverse. So you've got to turn the steering wheel the opposite way um, so that you make sure that you're making the right turns. And, and so that's important to make sure that you continue to kind of understand what the drift is doing um, and just kind of adding some forward bumps and some backwards bumps with the throttle as well as the turn just so that you can kind of glide it in nice and easy. That way when you get close to the dock you're not slamming into the dock and there we go. Nice and easy. That's a one person. You know, I don't even really need to stick my hand out there and grab the dock. It's, it's, we're coming up to it nice and slow. I can grab my dock line and tie off. So hopefully that helps you understand how the boat swing um, and the drift process works um, for coming up to a dock. Um, it doesn't really matter what you're coming into, whether it's the trailer, the boat dock, gas dock, anything that you're approaching. Um, you just have to make sure that you're utilizing the forward neutral reverse bumps along with steering your steering wheel. Um, a lot of people will just do the throttle and forget to make your turns with the steering wheel. It's just like in a car, if you start going in forward um, and you're trying to make an adjustment and you're not turning the steering wheel, you're not gonna get into the parking spot that you want. Um, so you have to make sure that you're doing those turns um, that coincide with your forward and backwards bumps and then you can let that uh, drift kind of pull you into the dock. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys and that makes you some better docking captains.